This is gyrating. It's your boy leading the pack here. Um, I'm so happy I have the opportunity to post on social media because I have a question for you guys. Um, at least in the east coast, is there some kind of tomato shortage going on? Now I know it's winter, but it's pretty warm here. At least in Virginia, it's uh, pretty warm. Um, you know, right now it's like 70 degrees and it's like nighttime, so it's like it's really warm. I abnormally warm. I know it's not exactly good for the winter, but you know, screw winter. I hate winter, so it's good for me. In any case, um, yeah, is there is there a, a tomato shortage? Because I went to a subway. I'm not one of those a-holes. I'm not too picky. But I know how I like a lot of my... I like my sandwiches a lot of tomato. Usually at least 10 slices. They was only eight to give me six. I know, boo-hoo, four slices. Uh, it ain't that big of a deal, but... It's the only subway that's been reporting this. Um, I'm at a subway that's on the northern part. I ain't going to call out the shits not too much, but they are on the northern part of where I live and... They, I don't go to them much. I only go to them when I play D and D, and they, they seem to have a problem giving more than four slices of tomato. I asked for a little bit more. I asked for one time they did give me more against their boss's orders. I'm sorry if they got the guys in trouble, but you know, like for the most part, they have a problem with it. Yeah, you know, I'm not trying to walk around prestigious, like oh, I'm the new Jared Subway, so give me what I want thing, but. I'm also worried because is there really a tomato shortage? I work in a piece. I work at a pizza joint delivering pieces, and my boss said there's no tomato shortage. We get plenty of tomatoes. Um, the other subways get plenty of tomatoes. They gave me a reasonable explanation, somewhat that the other subways kind of work together to help each other, you know, because they're all um, helping each other, you know, with the shortage. Like if one subway sees they're short, they work in a kind of conglomerate like the manager that manages those subways has your stuff in check but the manager that manages their subway doesn't but that doesn't but that but that just tells me though is that you guys if there is a, there's not a tomato problem there's a manager problem you guys need a better manager clearly that manager has a shortage of tomatoes because she didn't manage her stuff right um or she at least should put a sign saying she is short on tomatoes. He said what happened is they sent a group message to all the workers saying not to give out as much tomatoes. But that sounds really on the down low. You get what I'm saying? That sounds a little edgy. Now I'm not I'm not saying there's some odd stuff going on, but that kind of does worry me because I ain't hear nothing about it. And you know I eat Subway every day. I mean I eat there every single day, but I eat Subway every day and the Subway is I eat at it's not having a problem. Did it only once. That raises some red flags. You know, this it's too many red flags in this. That said, I am a little concerned on what's kind of going on here. It's underground now. It's not a big deal. This is just tomatoes on a sandwich. I could just not go to that subway. It's really easy for me to avoid it. And I will, at least until the spring. And then I want to check back in. Because honestly, it kind of sounds like this. If I had to guess, because I was an accountant, the manager, are saying she's, the manager is saying she's spending this much on, on tomatoes. But she's actually saving money by not spending as much on tomatoes. Which means she's kind of like... It's a kind of a money laundering, laundering thing. Not money laundering. It's kind of like, I can't remember. It's a legal practice where you say you have a budget. You don't spend that budget, but you say you did. And you just pocket it. A lot of businessmen do it. It's really illegal. You could get in huge trouble. And this, that's exactly what it sounds like the manager is doing. Um, the employees can't explain it too well. Um, they just say what the manager tells them to do. And honestly, it ain't that big a deal for me. It's not my problem. But I... I think the manager at the subway is definitely stealing money from the subway. You know, definitely not at least reporting it. Um, you know, I'm not sure if the manager keeps extra money they save from the subway or does the franchise corporate tell them to invest it into the next season or next year or, or what happened. But it has to be reportable. It has to be taxable, not just something that goes into the bank account. And I was an accountant in the Marine Corps. I'm, you know, I was a comptroller. I, I know how budget works. They explained it in the way that the way employees explain it, it really sounds fishy. Even they feel it's a little bit eh. So I don't know. I'm not saying they're doing an illegal thing, Subway. You know, I ain't gonna call some. I'm not gonna have my word go against their word. And I'm pretty certain there's something shady going on. Like no way of no, it's no cuts about it. It's something sh a little bit shady. But it's it's <laughs> it's something small. Yes, tomatoes. But I, I don't know. I, I 
I never seen anything like this on just like a really personal scale. Like if it was, if it was like at least one other subway, I'd be okay. They got something here, but it's no other subway, not even close. None. I, you know, and I asked around. You know, I eat subway every day. You know, I don't. I eat at one subway usually, but I eat at other places when I have to go out. I eat at the one at Chesapeake. I eat at the one in Norfolk. I eat at the others in Norfolk. I eat at the one at my school. I eat at at subways everywhere. You know, all up in the tri-state area. The only subway I probably haven't ate at, at least in an extremely long time, is the one in Virginia Beach. <laughs> but I, I eat at a lot of subways. And those subs never had, they never had a problem. So I'm starting to think that the manager is either, either messed up and doesn't want to make an employee so not get her in trouble, or she's stealing money. The employee said that's not what it is. She didn't get in trouble. She's just, it's a tomato shortage, but I, she's clearly lying. So that only leaves one solution. She didn't put a sign out or anything saying it's tomato shortage. She didn't like put like, I apologize, yada, yada. You know how they usually be like, hey, I apologize. We're having a little problem with a machine or something. You know, like when the machine breaks down Burger King, they have a little note on the front saying the machine is down for a while or, you know, or if, um, you know, when something happens, they always have to have a note or something, but they don't. The only thing they have is their employees saying it. And not that I, that I think the employees are wrong, but they can't give a reasonable explanation to what I said about another subway saying it. They're just saying their subway is. The only thing they could kind of say is, hey, it's not us. It's, it's us that is having a problem, no one else. They kind of, if anything, they're reinforcing it. But they're clearly in the dark, and the manager is doing something behind their back. Either she's either doing something illegal or doing something to hide her shame. Either case, not my problem. <laughs> um, but corporate, I do hope you guys are getting behind this. I'm no subway detective. I just eat the sandwiches and promote your stuff. Thanks, uh, by the, thanks for the um, discount stuff, by the way. I really appreciate it. Um, I, if you guys haven't seen my last video, I got these little uh, coupons from Subway. Um, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the coupons. And please send me more um i really appreciate it thank you subway um in any case uh let me know down below what you guys think of this shady thing um in the case the subway challenge is still going pretty good we are on the subway challenge day 73 um going really strong going really smooth and i can't find q-tips in here to save my life but i got a movie to go catch so i'll, I'll see you guys later and again let me know what you think about the little little conspiracy theory of mine and you know even if you guys don't believe it you guys got to admit that the, the manager there she's she's doing things on the ground and you know you don't do things on the ground when it comes to making moving money um so let me guys know what you think is it is it as big as um her stealing money directly from the company oh my bad is it as big as her stealing money from the company or is that as small as she's just having a, she, she's messed up ordering for tomatoes for the for the month or the year um and if you guys want to know the timeline it's been about almost a month um it's been a couple of weeks um this it's been like this here the week before last week i um i think it was no it's been like a week so far actually it's been a tomato sword if i remember correctly just yeah you know, just a, just a week so it's no big deal if it stops soon though if it stops now then it probably corp uh, i would imagine corporate called down and fired her but and put somebody else in you know i was probably right she's probably just stealing money so if that happens i'm gonna be like i told you guys so but <laughs> you know it's a little far-fetched but all the same um you know we both know at least now that something odd is going down and it's the manager's problem and she's doing it in the dark we don't know why she's doing it and we don't know if it's as big as something illegal to something small as she's just being She's just keeping her tomatoes on short because she messed up, but she really shouldn't do. I don't think it's a firing for her, but corporate handles it the manager. She's handling it already. She really didn't make a mistake, but that, 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 that's a problem. The employees say she didn't make a mistake. Like I just said, it. oh, well, yeah, you got um, a shortage of tomatoes. No big deal. But they said, no, 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 no. That's what everyone thinks, but that's not what happened. She didn't. It's a tomato shortage. So the fact that the employees outright refused me thinking it was a tomato shortage means that um sorry since the employees refused what i said about her just making a mistake saying that she said she didn't make a mistake means that 
either A, she's lying, she really did make a mistake, and she just don't want employees to know, which is kind of weird, because why, why would she prepare that ahead of time, you know, or prepare, why would she prepare that specific answer to my question, which means it has to be the other way around, that she, could, she says that she didn't make a mistake, and if she didn't make a mistake, like she just said, that only one thing, because, you know, she's taking that way money. In any case, there's something shady going on and she has her employees in the dark and they can't probably explain where, why there's a sort of tomatoes, you know, where's the money going. And if you can't explain, I mean, I shouldn't probably duck so deep into their account books, but I, I don't know. I guess it's a hobby I actually I kept, I caught when I was in the military because I know if someone made a mistake like this, they'll be hella petty. And she's, she's, uh, it doesn't look good. In any case, guys, uh... It's corporate subway corporate or whoever if you're hearing this i apologize if i raise some alarm bells i'm i don't mean to be the whistleblower but and i don't want to be but i do ear subs every single day and last thing i want to see is my beloved subway getting hurt by someone trying to steal money from under them but in any case guys um nothing on the brighter note um, let's see what our weigh-ins are for Monday. I look forward to it. I got my two subs on Saturday and Sunday. In any case, guys, this is the Subway Challenge Day 73. Stay sharp, people.